Hi Scorpio, this is your reading with me for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Um, well, basically it's for mid to end of November. It's for love and if you want to check out your other sign readings, definitely do check that out. So for example, if you have a Scorpio sun sign, you can check out the Scorpio reading. And then if you have a, I don't know, <laughs> Virgo moon sign, you can also check out the Virgo reading as well. You might be able to gather and gain more information and you can really sort of capitalize out of the readings in the sense that you can um, gain as much information, um, you know, if you wanted to. If not, you're here, I'm here, I'm gonna do your reading. So this is gonna be for you, for them and the outcome. That's how we're going to do the reading. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Also, private paid reading information is there as well. They're done within 24 hours usually. And uh, last thing I want to mention, intention bracelets and items are on Etsy. So I have an Etsy store, as many of you know. And uh, for those of you that are new, I make handmade bracelets. Also, there's anklets, necklaces, um, crystals on there as well. There's also pom-poms, tassels, face masks, um, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet or your purse. A lot of these items are intention-based and many of you have seen results with them. If you want to see um, the results, well, the reviews, it's, it's all on there. The review section is on there, so do check it out. Link will be in the description box below and also the um, items are shipped internationally. So let's have a look, Scorpio, and see what is happening. So we're starting off first of all with you and then them and then the outcome. So we've got here the Seven of Wands, Two of Wands. By the way, if anyone has any suggestions for like a short quote that I can put on here, let me know because, you know, I really struggled to be honest and uh, <laughs> I just wanted to make it look a little bit, I want to also make it look less childish at the same time. <laughs> I just like threw every little like bit on here that I could find. Okay. So, you have got the Seven of Wands with the Two of Wands, you've got the Knight of Wands, and last card for you here is Seven of Pentacles, a lot of reflection. Some of you are really ruminating, you're thinking, pondering, wondering, reflecting. Perhaps you're going round and round and round and round and round and round and round. It can feel like a lot, it really can. Well, there's a lot of reflection and some of you might also be thinking, is this really the best I can do? Which I think is really interesting because you might be thinking like, this is a lot of effort. Like I constantly have to go towards this person or cater towards this person or communicate with this person. Um, I'm constantly having to reflect. I'm constantly having to go out of my way to communicate and then I'm waiting and it's this and it's that and it's, it's challenging. For a lot of you, this is not so flowing. It's not so easy. As um, And I'm not saying that a relationship has to be easy, but I don't think it should be this difficult. Anyways, the point here is that there's a lot here that you're wondering about um, mid to end of November. It's like you want them to put in more effort, you want them to come to you, you want them to propose meetings and talks, and you want them to, to come. You want them to come like the Knight of Wands does, right? Full speed, excitement, thrill genuine emotion and care towards you. But the Seven of Pentacles here shows that it's like you're always waiting for that to happen. And perhaps you're ruminating on this connection and thinking, well, sometimes this is good, sometimes this is bad, sometimes this is good. It's like you're stuck between maybe the highs and lows as well, which I think is quite fascinating. The highs and lows. Well, on you know their side, you've got the King of Cups, which shows that they obviously do have feelings towards you. They do think about you because they're thinking here, Scorpio. And also, the King of Cups here is about them very much so thinking that you're extremely mature, kind, caring, responsible. I wonder what other cards are going to come out on their side. You've also got here the Empress as well. It's like the roles are reversed here. It's very, very interesting. Got the star card as well. Mm, got a lot of cards that just flipped over, so let me just do that again. Hmm. Hmm. We got a choice. I think it's this one. We're gonna take that one. It just seems to me like it just wants to fit right in. Oh, page of wands. Okay, so they're giving you about this much when you want 
a little bit more so I can see that there's a bit of a difference. They're really focusing inwards on themselves which can then make you feel like okay what are they doing, how are they, they're not talking to me, do they care about me, are they making an effort, what's going on, hello, how are you, hello, hello it's me, you know. Um, Empress here shows that they do care about you and they do feel that you're very, very mature and I think there's a lot of self-love for them towards themselves at this very point in time. They could be healing, trying to get themselves together, really focusing inwards on what they need to do for themselves. So there's a lot of inwards focus for them towards them. Does that make sense? Like them towards themselves? So it's, it's a big thing that's coming through here. Um, so then there's that as well, so whilst you're reflecting, thinking, pondering, wondering, a lot of their energy is going towards themselves, they do think about you, yes, and they do think that you're very mature, kind, caring, you know, and at times perhaps also quite emotional, but a lot of their energy is really going towards themselves, is what I'm seeing. Now let's see the outcome, alright? Moon with the Ten of Pentacles, okay, so that's quite interesting here, is that it's almost like they're keeping their true feelings hidden from you, they're not quite coming forward with the exact depth of their feelings towards you. I would say that this person loves you, but it's really below the surface, it's hidden below the surface, they like to push those feelings down and sort of bury their head in the sand um, every now and again. So here, you know, you've obviously got that energy, but it's like they're trying to heal, they're trying to sort of focus on themselves first before coming towards you fully, especially with this page of wands, right? It's like they're giving you this much energy when you want this much. So they're obviously keeping a lot of their feelings suppressed, which um, is coming through here. So Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, the two of you being together, enjoying time, but they're keeping that really hidden below. So that's really interesting there. It's like they're not fully coming forward, but they're also not fully out of the picture Basically, it's 50-50, right? It's like they're half in, half out. And all you want is for this person to be more in than more out. Or to be all in or all out. Isn't that interesting? So anyways, you've got the chariot here as well. Uh, it could also represents the, represent them taking a trip or a journey. Um, also, this represents here coming forward towards you a little bit more. And also, Ace of Wands shows interaction. So there's going to be communication, I feel, here. You may also be getting communication on a subconscious level, like through sort of telepathic communication. But the most significant thing that I pick up here is the fact that they're keeping a lot of this hidden. And they sort of like to move away from any impulses that they feel as well. Uh, but they still care about you and they still do love you. It's just that it's very... It's very like hit and miss, you know what I mean? Where they feel something but they keep it hidden. It's like they push it back. You know, it's like when something floats to the surface of water and you push it back down again and then it floats back up again and you push it back down again. You don't actually take that item. It's That's what they're doing. Um, is that they're just like doing that. So yeah, that's what I see here for you, Scorpio. They, they have feelings. But dot dot dot. That's, that's literally what it is, right? They have feelings for you, but then they sort of push those back down again. But they do care about you and they do love you. And I know that sounds frustrating, but it's it's that's why it's so 50-50. It's like one foot in, one foot out. I mean, I felt like the roles are kind of reversed, but I don't know, maybe for some of you they did. Um, so this is your reading, Scorpio. I really hope this gave you a bit of clarity. Now this is, uh, yeah, for sort of mid-end, mid end mid to end November and that's what we have so take care stay safe really hope it helps you um and that's what we have right here so this is your reading um don't forget to like this video um if you liked it don't forget to subscribe uh check out the description box below and yeah so your reading bye